Hey guys, this is Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Welcome to this uh, one shot short video about the 49 to 1 Unun I just finished for my uh, very good friend who just starting with ham radio hobby. He is still a CB operator, but he is doing the best to be a amateur radio operator as well. So I just made the 49 to 1 Unun and this is going to be a Enfit half wave antenna. He will use this antenna for CB primarily in this time, but maybe in the future he will use this antenna for an amateur radio bands. So let me show you how I uh, constructed or how I built this 49 to 1 Unun. This is not going to be a construction video, this is just a video just for a and motivation purposes. Maybe you uh, will be motivated to make something similar as I did. So as you can see here I used uh, this little uh, box which is uh, waterproofed uh, because it has a uh, seal around around the corners uh, between the upper and the lower part of the box and here on the bottom you can see the SO239 socket and also two tiny holes uh, for an air ventilation and the air pressure ventilation, which is very important to prevent making a water inside the box. Uh, here on the both sides of this uh, uh, enclosure, you can see the mounting eyes or whatever it will it calls. Uh, the left eye will be for a rope, uh, the guide rope will be fixed right here on this uh, to this eye and will be fixed to the uh, to the tree or maybe to a fence, whatever. And here on the right side you can see the mounting eye will be fixed to an antenna wire. The antenna wire should be half wave length long. So uh, for CB band it will be something more than five uh, than five meters. Um, for other bands you have to count um, half wave of the length where you want to use this antenna. So I, uh, for example, say that maybe twenty meter band um, antenna will be a ten meter long wire fixed to this eye the antenna wire shouldn't be connected directly to this eye so you should have to make an, an eye fix them together right here and the left over of the wire should go right here to this soldering eye this uh, bolts or screws or washers are connected directly to a toroid inside the box so this is an antenna socket so let me open the box now and we'll show you how it looks like inside and for this uh, project i used uh, uh, stacked stacked two toroids and the type of the toroids is the ft8243 yeah as you can see i overloaded a uh, force <laughs> and I just destroyed the, the threads inside the hole, okay? So next time I have to be more careful and this is the second screw which has been destroyed uh, the plastic uh, thread inside the holes this is really pity so again I used uh, two stacked turrets uh, again, uh, the, the type of the toroids is material 43 and a complete, uh, complete uh, name of the toroids is, or model of the toroids is FT8243. They are very small toroids as you can see here and they are uh, two of them um, stacked. Okay, and... Uh, let me explain uh, the toroids, how they are constructed. So here you can see this uh, twisted wire. This twisted wire is actually 
a primary coil and I have two turns of this twisted wire. So uh, the end of the wire is going to the antenna, uh, to the uh, transceiver, and the second end of this twisted wire is going to uh, the toroids and I made another 12 uh, turns of this wire and the end of the turns is going to antenna so it's very simple and you can see uh, on the on this plan you can see this plan how I made actually uh, this wire you can you can find this uh, plan on the internet uh, it was uh, yeah here is the reference uh, kilo one tango alpha you can put this uh, cosign into the Google and I'm pretty sure you will find the plan for the story so you can see two uh, twisted uh, wire turns and another 12 turns but it's very important in this case that eight turn is going through the whole of this entire um, uh, a toroid so the the eighth turn is going through the hole and appears on the others on the other side of the toroid and then you continue to make another uh, turns and the end of the wire is going to straight to it to the antenna so the same I made also here so uh, the this capacitor is also very important especially if you plan to use this antenna or on on, on an upper bands like 10 12 or uh, 15 meters this is for a compensation so it's very important to use and you have to use uh, a high voltage uh, capacitor in this case it used a 10 kilovolt model for uh, an 100 uh, picofarad and it should be connected directly or straight between um, between the center pole of the SO239 and the body of SO239 here you can see how I did it right here in my in my case okay so this twisted wire is connected to a ground and this uh, single wire is going to a center pin and here you can see these uh, eyes bolts are used in this construction um, just uh, one idea you shouldn't yeah, yeah you shouldn't uh, connect the antenna to this eye uh, the the wire as I mentioned before should be isolated okay should be isolated and fixed right here and connected to this uh, soldering eye but I had an idea what if I connect the the antenna wire also to this bolt and also to the to the soldering eye and what if I grounded this bolt to the ground and during during the during the uh, thunderstorms and high voltage generated in the air because of the lightnings uh, strikes, this should work or could work like an arcs or like an arc sparklings sparklings I think is is the right word. So it should be like a protection against the high voltage generated on the uh, on the wire. So the electricity should um, go through uh, through the plasma here and to the ground. I'm not sure <laughs> if it could work, but definitely the gap should be even uh, even uh, smaller, and those both uh, bolts should be even closer. Okay, this is just one my idea. I'm not sure if it could work. The other another thing is that I stacked two uh, toroids inside, and I'm I'm still not sure what is the maximum power rating of uh, of this uh, unun. Yeah, I have to find it out. I need to uh, deploy employ employ the <laughs> IR 
uh, camera and watching uh, what the uh, temperature will be uh, generated on, on these uh, turrets uh, while transmitting. Okay guys, so it was my 49 to 1 Unun made for my friend and I hope that you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you like this uh, channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope that I mot motivated you to make something similar also by your own. Thanks very much guys for watching and until next meet 73.